Okay, leak code question 48, rotate image. You're given an N by N 2D matrix represented in an image. Rotate the image by 90 degrees clockwise. You have to rotate the image in place, which means you have to modify the input 2D matrix directly. Do not allocate another 2D matrix and do the rotation. So in this example, we have just rotated this by 90 degrees. So 7, 4, 1 moves to the top, 1, 2, 3 moves down the side, and 3, 6, 9 moves across the bottom. So this is a pretty tricky question, especially if you don't know how to manipulate matrices. This is a two-step process in the solution. So firstly, we need to transpose this. And by that, I mean we need to switch the diagonals. So this one, to begin with, is going to be flipped with itself. So we've got row zero, column zero. So we're going to flip that with itself. Then we're going to move to column one. And we want to flip that with row one. So those two are going to flip. Then if we move to row two, for example, we're going to flip with column two. So those two are going to flip. Five is going to flip with itself. Six and eight are going to flip together. And then nine is going to flip. So we're going to end up with something like this. So this has been completely transposed now. So that's step one of this solution. Now step two, in order to get from here to here, we're going to have to just flip these values. So we're going to reverse the first and last value and then move inwards, okay, to flip this value. And the reason I say move inwards is because if we had an example like this, we'd also have to flip these values on the inside here. So we need to flip on the outside, move inwards, flip on the inside. But because this array up here is so small, we only flip four with itself. Okay, so that's that's the general understanding of this solution. And what that will return is that will return us the answer right here. So let's jump back into the code. We'll start writing it out and then we'll come back into this and discuss how we'd actually work this out. So firstly, let's transpose the matrix. So if we loop through from i at zero, as less than matrix dot length, i plus plus. So we're looping through the rows here. And then for the columns, we'll set that to j. We're going to make sure that j is equal to i, j is less than matrix dot length, j plus plus. Now, the reason we set j equal to i is because at this point where we have i is equal to 0, i is equal to 1, 2, we want to make sure that the column, or j, is also the same. So as we went through in the example, if i is equal to 0, we want to make sure that j is equal to 0. And if i is equal to 1 down here, we want to make sure j is equal to 1 because we're going to be flipping those values. So now we can just flip those values. So temp is equal to matrix at ij. Matrix at ij is equal to matrix at ji. And then matrix at ji is equal to temp. So that's going to transpose the matrix. So that's the first step done. Next, we need to reverse elements and move inwards. So with this example, in order to reverse first value and the last value it's going to be matrix ij which is this value and we need to get the last value so that's going to be matrix at i because we're at i equal to zero and it's going to be matrix dot length because it's going to be the length of this row so matrix dot length and it's going to be minus one because the index is one less because we start at zero so that will solve this problem so that'll flip those two so what happens when we move inwards? Well, firstly, let's change these up. So one is going to be flipped with seven. So seven and one are changed. Now we're in the middle. So we've got four. So matrix ij is equal to four, and that's going to be flipped with this matrix i matrix dot length minus one, which is currently at one. So this isn't going to work here. So we need to decrement something else. Well, we need to decrement this by j, right? So j is equal to one. We need to decrement by one in order to get that middle value. It's the same with down here. We first flip these two values. So matrix at ij is equal to five. And we want to flip it with the last value, which is 11. And j at that moment in time is equal to zero on the first iteration, right? So those two are flipped. Then we move inwards. So we move to j is equal to one. Now we need to flip. So matrix at ij, we're flipping one with matrix at i, matrix dot length minus one minus j. So j is equal to one, matrix dot length minus one is five. We minus one, so we flip it with the nine, okay? And we repeat that process. So let's write this part out.
So let j equals zero. J is less than matrix dot length divided by two j plus plus. The reason we have matrix dot length divided by two is if you think about it, if we switch these values up, so we switch two and 10, and then we switch four and eight. So we've only gone to j where j is equal to one, right? So half the length, and we flip those values. So we flip those values, and we've only gone up to this point. If we move past this point, we're going to flip them back. So we're going to flip four and eight again, and we're going to flip 10 and two again. So we're going to end up with what we started off at. So we don't want to do that. And we only want to go up to half the length of the matrix. Then we create the flip logic. So let temp equal matrix IJ. Matrix IJ is equal to matrix I matrix dot length minus one minus J. So once that's been added in, we can return the matrix. Let's give that a run. Okay, so that's been accepted, let's submit it. And there you have it.